the last episode, we had wild porpoises swim alongside our boat. In this episode, we're off for the Cape Fear River. And given how well everything else has gone that we've tried, I'm, I'm sure there's no reason to be worried about that. I mean, it's, it's not like it was named after an actual event or anything. Yeah, this will be fun. So we left Carolina Beach to head down the Cape Fear River, past Cape Fear, past Oak Island, to stop at Myrtle Beach, Georgetown, and eventually make it to Charleston. This ramp coming up behind me was used during the Revolutionary War by American soldiers. They would roll barrels of whiskey and gunpowder down that ramp into waiting boats. The sailors in the boats would then take the barrels, roll them back up the ramp. It was an incredible waste of time and manpower, and is probably one of the reasons they lost the war. To see your reaction. <laughs> like, what kind of bullshit are you spouting over here? <laughs> you weirdo. We spent the night at Deep Point Marina, just opposite Bald's Head Island and close to Cape Fear itself. And the next morning we set off past Cape Fear to reach the Myrtle Beach Yacht Club. Up ahead, there's a river flood warning. Okay. Um, which I think doesn't really affect us, right? Shouldn't it? If we have more to, I mean, that's what we need. Right. I mean, it's raising the level of the river, which affects us. Right. But that's a good thing. Further from the bottom. Uh, Unless there's, like, trees and logs floating which they could be, but we'll keep an eye out. No, I think it should be fine. Okay. I feel like the real boaters would know the answer to this. Yeah, they probably do. But after we do it, we'll know the answer too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As we passed the Cape, the wind started to pick up to the 30 knot range. just the other side of these barrier islands. That's the Atlantic. And we're just going down the Cape Fear River, right behind them, staying in the sheltered waters of a river that has claimed more lives than any other in the US, uh, outside of the occasional hurricane anomaly. But Cape Fear River has earned its name. Cape Fear gets its name from Sir Richard Grenville, the 1585 expedition. They became embayed here and behind the Cape, and they thought they would wreck. And the crew was so scared they named it Cape Fear. We're doing okay. We had a pleasant but windy day, and by that evening we saw the black and white lighthouse at the Myrtle Beach Yacht Club, where we would spend the night. Is this still Cape, Cape Fear River? I have no idea. Yes, no, no, we're technically in something called Elizabeth River, I think. Again? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> look at you again. Uh, yeah, let me look at the... Okay. Hold on. This is going to tell me what this is. I don't know where we Hold are. Up. Yeah, we're now in the Elizabeth River. Sorry. Well, we made it to Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. No, we haven't. No, we oh, haven't. River. This isn't Myrtle Beach. We're going to Myrtle Beach. That was the Myrtle this Beach Marina. River. We've made it to Little. Mer we've made Maybe it to. I'm wrong. Do both. We. 
Oh, I'll, I'll just do both. We've made it to Little River in Myrtle Beach Marina, which is nowhere near Myrtle Beach. I've never heard of Myrtle Beach. <laughs> Once knew someone called Myrtle Beach, but they had a falling out and now they're not even friends. I don't know where we are. Oh, it's really tragic because I'm the navigator. So this may or may not be Myrtle Beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is Myrtle Beach. That wasn't Myrtle Beach, that was North Myrtle Beach, apparently. We don't know where we are. I do! No, you don't! You specifically <laughs> said you specifically I said, said I was... you don't you know that we're in South Carolina and that's about the Right there, before you claimed that it was Myrtle Beach, I said, that's North Myrtle Beach. We may not know much about sailing, but we have more fun than anyone else out here. Well, we have reached Georgetown. So apparently, there is a new restaurant in town. Welcome to the grand opening of the Starry Night Pirate. The menu's right here on the table. As you see, <laughs> you have your adventurous books. To yes, read. I see. And Madam, if you look right there, you can see a pirate. Nice. Yeah. You may read the menu. Alrighty. And you have pencils, so you can do mm -hmm. the actual games on there. That's death. No, that says it's death. This looks like a. I'd get a sword. Yeah, it's a sword that is really sharp that stabs ya. <sighs> Alrighty, spot the difference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not even six. Yeah, five. This is different. Oh, it's height. a different height. So that's one. I didn't get the difference. These are two height. spikes. Deliberate. I I just put that line there because that has a line, but I I don't think that's one. So that's two. So I have to see the differences that you meant rather than just the differences uh -huh. that you. Yeah. And then the stripes weren't supposed to be a difference at all. Weren't supposed to well, be. Well, that's a not. Fair. Then this box and this box are supposed to be one difference. Those are the differences, and you got the others correct. But all new restaurants have their difficulties, and the Starry Night Pirate menu was Rice Krispies or a PB and J. And we were out of milk. If we are not able to have milk delivered here, like if we're not able to have Instacart. Nope, no Instacart. Okay, we cannot have this. <laughs> oh. oh, we could still have the PB and J. We could ask for something. You'd be like, oh, sorry, love, milk's off. We could have the Rice Krispies. Sorry, love, milk's off. It's another early morning departure. We spent a lovely couple days in Georgetown. Went to the Marine Museum there, which was fun. No one there, so we were socially distanced until a couple came in not wearing masks, so we left. But we are back on the water, heading down the ICW. In the next episode, we make it to Charleston in spite of heavy traffic in the Charleston Harbor. And Robert get some exciting news about their Nickelodeon audition. It was for Nickelodeon, the Trans Youth Acting Challenge. And what do you get now that you've actually got in? I get... Yeah, I got the email. The and a drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. Oh, oh a, a drop, drop of Nelson's blood, blood wouldn't, wouldn't do us any harm. harm. A drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm And we'll all go on to why